Here comes a car. Yeah. Get him. I don't he's really. Go I don't me. really know what he's doing. He really. Oh wants... no! Uh, What's he? What? <laughs> What's he doing? He really wanted to go around me. Oh, this is the engine. On oh, this look one. at it. It's just stuttering because the... there's a collectible. Congratulations! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. My name is Peter. My name is Ben. And they said weird games sent in by Ooh. you. That's the other show. That happens once a month. Yes. But you can still get that early as well if you're watching on Patreon right now. And they're both oh. available. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, we will. Hello, Ben. Hello, Peter. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome back to the Good. desk. Thanks. It's here a pleasure to be here. In the in the room on the desk, yeah. Noticeably getting a bit muckier. Yeah, just as time sort goes of by. over time gets the odd bit of stuff, flour, mystery. Yeah, we're cooking on it at the moment. We're cooking on it, which is uh, which is not the best idea. No, in episodes of May Menu also on on Patreon. Yeah, uh, but today we're not here to do that. No, we're here to play a terrible video game sent in by you. Mm -hmm. There are two roles on this show. Someone brings along the science facts, has the box, and that person is the game's master, and that is me. He's got the box. And the other person has the controller. Oh, Clue. Clue is today's platform. That's me. It's the victim. <laughs> Did actually choke a little there. It's yeah, fine. That's all right. Just added to the effect, didn't it? Yeah. Would you like to know what you're playing today? Yes, please. Certifiably one of the worst video games ever made on the PlayStation 3, it's Leisure Suit Larry Box Office Bust. Oh, no. Da 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 da. I had a look through our 101 Worst Games of All Time mm -hmm. video script just to get some inspiration yeah. for this week's episode. And I thought, this is releasing in October. There's got to be a terrible horror game on there. Mm -hmm. There were, but none that were easily accessible for us. Right. And then I realized, hey, we've got an episode of Worst Games that's actually... Coming out. I'm dying, I think. I'm Science. actually dying. All right. You're still um, choking on that thing from before. We've got an episode coming out on the 29th of October, which right. would be far more appropriate to, to do as a spooky game. So I thought, you know what, I'll pass the buck. That's Peter's problem. I'll find a spooky one. So we're going for something a little bit sexy oh, this time, potentially, yeah. except it's really not because it's dreadful. It's presumably, or based on what little I know from Legend Suit Larry, quite misogynistic and sexist rather than sexy. Uh, precisely. Yeah? Precisely. Okay. It's not quite as bad, but it is. but it is. Right. It, it is bad. Okay. Uh, it's not quite as bad as other ones, but it's still really bad. Great. Should we get started? Yeah. Oh, we can't get started. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, we've got to ask this one a question, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, Billy, do you uh, have you played the Legend Suit Larry games before? Do you like them? Oh yeah. Oh, I love Legend Suit Larry. Oh my god, I wish we hadn't asked him now. Me too. We're learning a lot really about weird. this boy on this mm. show now, aren't we? Whoa! I was on real technology and. Funstar. <laughs> it's a Codemasters company. Funstar. Oh, Team 17 It's well. developed by Team 17, published by Codemasters this game. That's a spoiler. Box oh, office bust. There's a sexy woman. There she is. Oh, she's Larry. still there. Oh. What's he watching? You like all the hair textures popping in there yeah. as it's going past. Uh, Legend Suit Larry Box Office Bust is an action-adventure video game developed by Team 17 and published by Codemasters for Microsoft Windows, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It was released on March the 27th, 2009 in Europe. Okay. Uh, it is the eighth game in the series and the first Legend Suit Larry game to be released for seventh generation consoles. There are loads of these. Loads of LSLs. Jesus Christ. We might actually need to blur that. Yeah. Even though you can't really tell what's going on. Just really like set in the bar, like this is where we go. It's Connie. Connie L Linglish. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Con yeah. Sure, you get it. Mm. So here are some magazines, and there's a website. Honk my ass. <laughs> Actually, it's. <laughs> 
There was also a party there, did you see that? No, please refrain from smoking near the butane canisters. They are highly explosive and the resulting flame. It talked about a chafing, yeah, yeah, burning sensation though. Yeah. Screw you. No, I mean, um, uh, there's a, a swear word there. Residence. Residence. Is that Sorry. boob carpet? Uncle Larry? Uh, it might be areola carpet, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, my life's incredible. Piz. My <laughs> It's a burger, it's some beers. Ah, chip off the old block. Listen, Larry, I've always liked you. Maybe it's because- Do you recognize that voice, by the way? Back when I wasn't the head of a film studio and super rich. It's Jerry Seinfeld. It's not Jerry Seinfeld. It's not Jerry Seinfeld. It's not Jerry Seinfeld, no. Off of the B movie. Yeah, he's watching some sort of uh, 2D porn. Or she's riding a horse. She could be riding a horse. It's very difficult to tell. What's the word above piss? Goats. I, I know a guy. Crusts. Goats. Piss. Cro crusts. Piss. Uh, who is it? Who's the voice? Uh, it's a fact for later, I'm okay. afraid. You have to find out, but it's a famous. I'll keep listening. Somehow it's a fa- he's got them. Well, I mean, I'm hoping he'll, he'll turn up later as well. He's looking bleary-eyed, is Larry. That's the sound of him getting ready, I guess. Yeah, he needed a sword. Mm. Uh, he's going to Tinselwood. Right. I'll give you some context, shall I, for what's going on? Yeah. Box office bust features Larry Lovage, the main <laughs> character of Ledger Suit Larry, Magna Cum La La Laude, Laude, whose uncle Larry, the original Larry Laffer, calls upon his assistance at his pornographic film studios, studio Laffer Studios, doing odd jobs and trying to uncover a mole from a rival studio who is attempting to sabotage Laffer Studios. There was a good uh, fact, uh, like a hint there on the loading screen. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, you will never convince your girlfriend it's good for her because it contains you, protein. Man. He's my uncle. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> it's a good game, isn't it? It's so bad. And also the character models are horrible. Mm. Be glad they didn't get to the cavity search. How did you get here so quickly? Well, my trailer is that park famous man. Yes, that is right. famous. Well, man. I'm glad you could spare the time. Here, let me show you around. John Goodman. It's not John Goodman. <laughs> no, it's not. All set. Then strap on something tight and hang on with both hands. Yep. It sounds like Jerry enter, Seinfeld. A world of magic and dreams. A bit. It does a bit, but it's not. You know, it's not. I tell him. you. Mm. I could skip oh, ahead. That yeah. loaded. <laughs> I could skip ahead, I suppose. No, you don't have to. I'll just keep guessing. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you say this one is so bad? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, talk about gratuitous. It's really it's really good. Yeah. The thing is, the the sexiness the, the intended sexiness of it. It's completely undone by character models yeah, that look the like that. The pixel bra. The, 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 the steps. Oh, oh she fell the over the background. Up here is the mail room where we'll find our what? Lovable They're being oiled up for the for the for the video. <laughs> Peter, it's a pornographic film studio. Oh, is it? I didn't notice that. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Oh right, sorry. So that guy, okay. the famous. Well, that explains it. He owns a pornographic Larry. film studio. Right. And you're there to help doing some odd jobs. That's why there there is some odd jobs. What kind? Is he going to land on the? He's fine. Company. But I'm enjoying your company. We're actually getting some credits no, that who will tell you. Who's yeah, who. it's just like a Hideo Kojima game. It's, yeah, it is. Studio tycoon who runs the bigger soulless movie oh. studio across the street as. Oh my God, he's going to die. One of them's a mole. Well, no, no, he just sort of got hammered got into the floor, nudged out of the way. Larry, I need you to uncover the identity of. This Were we supposed to fetch? Even for a moment, think that they might I be real. I don't actually know. <laughs> Look out! So Hugh Jackson. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've not been reading these it's names, but they're all like it's that. It's not funny, Loser remember? Dog. No. There's Roger the Rowdy Horse who has some sort of appendage on his. Yeah. On, well, all over him. There's actually. a box of tissues there, and some, I guess that's some green lube. Yeah, I mean, Merv James is going to really have to work overtime, like blurring some of this stuff. Yeah. But it's not... James is going to have to work out what he blurs. Like, do you blur that? No, I think that's no, okay. I agree. That's but... just nature being sexy. Mm. There's a big difference. Uh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, you go to the supermarket and there's kind of a sexy aubergine there. Just sort of sitting in the box. Do I buy that one? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, he is so close to death. It's so wacky. It is. Did you notice how the boulder stopped moving, but the shadow... You can still see the shadow in frame. It's like the Animaniacs. You're going to love it. You know, it's set on a film lot, but like everywhere yeah. you go, there's just film stuff happening. And mm. there's people in costume everywhere, which is probably not actually what it's like being at a studio for the most part. 
If you love films happening, then maybe you would consider supporting us over at patreon.com forward slash team triple jump, uh, where for five dollars you get mm. access to so much. You get early access to this show, you get early access to weirdest games ever, you get exclusive access to Rules Boss and Main Menu. Patreon.com forward slash team triple jump, go check it out. Yes, please. Larry, this is my dearest friend in the whole world, Ebenezer Weatherby. It's Ebenezer my Weatherby. My name's mm. Al Jones. I'm promoting you to being in charge of He just of said his Larry, name was something you know, else then. Yeah. Showing him the apron strings, the whole nine inches. Um, which office is mine? You don't get an office, asswipe. You're not going to be doing much sitting around here. This guy sounds more familiar down, than, does he? than Famous Man. Yeah. He sounds like any character Rule with that voice. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. You know? You. Piz. Rule they love two. Piz. Everyone drinks the Piz. Everything they just say, can't get enough of that sweet, really sweet Piz. Give me a cool <laughs> can of Piz. Any questions on the first three rules so far? Uh, yeah. Where are the honeys at? Where are the honeys at? Didn't you see all the honeys on the way in? The honeys were plentiful. Oh, yeah. There was even some sexy cactus outside. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah, because it, it would be really bad if there were, like, phalluses all over the place it's on just, this it's studio. Un, it's unprofessional, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Let us Larry box off his bus. He's still talking, yeah? Was my 100th platinum trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. As voted on uh, by a podcast I used to do, mm -hmm. it was intentionally picked as a really dreadful platinum. I nearly lost my mind doing it. Yeah. And this copy that we're playing is from my personal collection. Fantastic. And I had to actually get it out of a commemorative frame that my friend Simon oh. put together for me. Oh, yes. Me. The thing is, I played this back in 2015, early 2016. When it was, oh, it was when, fine. <laughs> when it was fine. But it is incredible <laughs> watching watching this today and realizing just quite how, quite how far we've come. Yeah. You know? We're not saying it was fine, but no, you know, it, it, but it happened it like, did. in popular culture like this a lot more. Yeah, the screen tearing is out of this world. It certainly it? is. Yeah. Oh, do I not super, get rid of that one? Super, totally, totally not gay this time. Right. That's another good one. I don't know. What, what did you press last time? I pressed time? circle last time, and now circle isn't. Oh, oh there's well, a thing. Right, you got to go for that specific one. Order. Oh, Larry can die. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a gentle oh, don't. Is he telling you how to climb a ladder? So this is another one of those games that, that sort of does that Saints Row thing, that really annoying thing where it, Oops. Oh no, where it pokes <laughs> fun at being a video game. Like, yeah. now I need you to go collect 50 of these little things. 50? What is this, some kind of video game? And then it makes you do and it. And then you still have to do it anyway. Yeah. So they're acknowledging that they know but it's, it's bad. BS. But... Yeah. Well, if they made the billboard smutty enough, nobody would have needed to deface it. Damone Lecoq. Right. Ginger Vitus. That's a good one. Ginger Vitus? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good name. Box Office Bust has open world sandbox gameplay such as exploration, platforming, racing, and puzzle solving. Oh, the camera's good. As with other games in the series, it features humor, attractive women, and suggestive themes. Mm. As it says on Wikipedia. That's true. He's walking very strangely. Does he have rickets? He could do, or Dropsy. Or Dropsy. Well, if he if he falls off, he'll have Dropsy. He will, he will, yeah. Just like new. Very impressive. I can hardly tell this is the same soundstage I drew yeah. shit all over yesterday. Cool. Right. Oh, over we go. So, what, so he drew all the graffiti? That's what he's saying. Yeah. There's a phone on the roof. Do you reckon you can... Yeah, he's yeah. going to tell you how to do it. So I heard you like jumping and bouncing off stuff. <laughs> You've probably already done it by accident so at this point, <laughs> but I'll tell you how to do it anyway. <laughs> Hello, Larry Lovage here, wanton sex god. Wait, is that? Oh, are, are you my father? Jeez, what a pervert. That was it. It made you pick up a phone to listen to well, that. Right. Week, look what I found. I, I gave one just like it to my mother. Yeah, I set it to vibrate and everything. Yeah, after that, she was so happy, she demanded I call more often. You're amazing. Whose is this? To me, it strongly resembles the one owned by a total asshole and former talent agent named Kip. Really? A, a total asshole? Yes. Total! You know, actually, well, it sounds like you're going to go meet Kip. Right. You could listen to the rest of this conversation, or because I feel like they're just going to go back and forth. Yeah, that's on, it. You know? Yeah, and we're sort of having to just be quiet and listen. So here you go. Is there a sprint button? R1. R1. A okay. classic sprint button. Yes, it is. So welcome to your playground. Great. This is the studio lot. 
where you will spend, um, well, probably the next 20 minutes, realistically. Yeah, I've run out of uh, stamina, so I've got okay, to like, so wait until I can sprint. You can't call himself a sex god if he's got no stamina. No. Now, I want you to bear in mind all of the writing that you've heard so far, okay? When I read you this next bit. Right. Unlike its predecessor, Leisure Suit Larry Magna Cum Laude, this game does not contain nudity and sexual content. Well, it kind of does. What? Despite its appeal to adult audiences, this was a decision championed by executive producer John Melchior, who believed that nudity was just a mask for poor gameplay and had stated that they, Team 17, created a game with a good, sto a solid story, clever setups, and great payoffs. Great payoffs. Clever setups. What they're saying is that the nudity was beneath them. Yeah. They, I don't know what game they thought they were making. Yeah, and given that there were seven Leisure Suit Larry games that came beforehand, and yeah. all of them contained gratuitous nudity and sexual references, I don't know what why they suddenly changed their mind. I and mean, I don't know if they worked on all of them, but... Uh... No, I think this was the first Oops. one they made. You can survive that fool, you'll be all right. Crick. Oh! God, it's hideous, isn't it? That looks yeah. like the building I'm after, all right. Ooh. Now, keep in mind, we're playing this on a PS3. Yes. So all these, you can like... take that. Oh. <laughs> all the frame drops uh, are just because that's... Oh, no. See, you all right. <laughs> He's okay. He just fell over. He got hit by the... You got hit by the car. Uh, see, all, all these uh, frame drops that are very quite clearly happening uh, are because of the game. Yes. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> never mind. L1 to handbrake genius. God, the game can barely keep up with like the speed you're going. No, oh, you're the best at pulling stunts now, you better way. Yeah, hit hit a person. See okay, what... let's hit a person. Oh. oh my goodness! Oh, you can me. just do that. Okay. The noise it makes, just such a soft thud. Look how badly it performs. The frame rate is it's awful. Really bad. Gone. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Stop staring at a Larry, you creep. We asked Billy a question. Yeah. Is there someone else you could ask a question to, perhaps? Yeah. Um. Is, Rules Boss, is this okay for us to even be playing on YouTube? No, definitely not. Hmm. Right. Well, we'll see if it's been demonetized come Monday, I yeah. suppose. Magna come Magna Monday. Magna come Monday, yeah. <laughs> Box office hit? boost. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Will it make it? It's like a consciousness being shredded. Mm, yeah. Beefcake, Mountain, Bitanic. Saving Ryan's Privates, that's yeah, a classic. Yeah, that's a classic one. Or, or, sh or just a save, that one. Why are you gonna be that guy? They make musicals out of everything these days. This Katrina one will work. So is this the total asshole? Yes, it is, yeah. Total! Just leave the spotted owl burrito on the desk and get lost. I mean, can we exhume her body and scan it for digital recreation? You. Uh, uh, me? Who are you and why are you holding my personal belongings? <laughs> Look, I, I'm I'm Larry. I, I work here now. I, I, I like porn. Larry, babe, let me explain something. I'm what you would call a power broker in this town, okay? My cock ring costs more than your car. Do you have a car? Wow, okay. He's, he seems lovely, doesn't he? Mm, yeah, I like this guy a lot. I mean, I guess we're not supposed to like him, but... No, everyone's dreadful. In fact, there's no likable people in this No, even Larry. No, he's one of the worst. Yeah. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Now, who the hell was that crap weasel in your office just now? He's so loud. I don't know about him, but something about his bone structure looked a little familiar to me. Relax, How did he see him? Man, okay, he's just some loser. He won't get in the way. I don't know, maybe, there's, he maybe he's talking to a spy? He said he likes porn. Kip, just so we're on the same page, this is a $3 billion takeover. <gasps> and if you yeah. So that's it. Is Kip the mole? Whoa. Maybe. I can't actually remember anything about this game, apart from how annoying it was. You succeeded, though. I succeeded. Well done. Hey. You went across town and you... Delivered a phone. Went in a building. Yeah. I thought you were in the Wild West now. Yeah. Yeehaw. Oh, this is all walled off, is it? I can't get out to the street no. from here. No. Get hit in, hit by cars. Mm. There are still people just wandering about, though. Yeah. Not that any of them have anything to say. Oh, they they had a good time they together. They did. A little bit then. of an altercation we just saw. Oh. That's a good, good person there. That's a me, I'm fairly sure. From Nintendo. Dun, 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 What a face. Dun, that's good. Right. Where are you off to now, then? That way. You going back to see Al? Oh, there's the dick statue. Yeah. Lovely. 
Here comes a car. Yeah. Get him. Will he stop for me? I don't know. I don't Is really. Just go I don't me? really know what he's doing. <laughs> he really. Oh wants... no! Uh, What's he? What? <laughs> What's he doing? He really wanted to go around me. I want to see how he navigates that bit. It's really tight. Though. Oh, I just get a lift. It's like the Simpsons oh, hit and run. Road rage. Oh, listen to the engine on oh, this Look one. at it. It's just stuttering because the. There's a collectible. Congratulations! <laughs> I barely lost any momentum doing that. God, incredible speeds. Yeah. It's a giant shark. It's massive. Look at that. It's got a face. It has. Looks like um, Bruce. I never knew my father. <laughs> Come here. Look at that. Look how cross it is. Look at the ramp here. If only I had a golf buggy. Don't really know this what would the purpose get you of nowhere. That is. Yeah, there's no purpose to that at all. Ooh. Oh, um, well, you found another collectible. Yeah. Are you him. in the water? Why is it making water sounds? I think I can just hear the the water that's above me, maybe. I don't know. It's all right. Okay, I'm nearly there. I have gone up already. Maybe it's beneath me. Can you ch change the camera? This angle? game is beneath me. No, not really. It is beneath you. Yeah. There he is. Oh. He's in there. Your favorite guy. What? What in the name of God is that? What? What? What is? What is that person? That's your man. That's your boy. Your guy. He looked all. I don't know. He looked, his text just looked weird. I thought maybe not. He just looked a bit like he was kind of wrapped up in bandages rather than wearing his clothes. To be fair, his... I have no idea what you are implying. I got another shit job with your name on it. Go to the street set. Yep, go back where you were, basically. Mm -hmm, yeah. The storyline was written by Alan Covert of Happy Madison Productions, and the voiceover cast includes Josh Keaton as Larry Lovage, Jeffrey Tambor as Larry Lovage. That's uh, that's the one I was referring to. Did you just Jeffrey... say bo they both play Larry Lovage? There's two Larrys. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Jeffrey Tambor is Larry Laffer. Right. His uncle. Both Larrys. Oh, I see. Slightly different. Right. Uh, so Jeffrey Tambor... You will know him if you see him. Okay. He was in Arrested Development. He's been in loads of other stuff as well. Right. Uh, he was one of the... Oh, God, I can't even remember now. He's on screen. You know who he is. It's Jeffrey Tambor. It's that one. There he is. It's him. Uh, uh, Jay Moore, Patrick Warburton. You know him as well. Yeah. Shannon Elizabeth and Carmen Electra. Oh. Artie Lange and Dave Attell were also featured as voice actors. Whoa. Whoa. Do you know what I like, Ben? What's that? Is that when games are like this, Yes. Uh, you know, like not very nice about ladies. Yes. Um, and we say, hey, that's not all right. Yeah. People, some people get cross. Why do they uh, get cross? I don't, well, why do they get cross? But that's what, that's what I like is that, you know, wait it out yourself as a probably not very nice person. Oh, right. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Women deserve respect. Well, that upsets me. Yeah, Does how it? dare you say that? What? Does it upset you? Mm. That's kind of sad, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's interesting. Woo! <laughs> uh, excuse me, but sorry, I... uh, sorry, little girl, no autographs. There he is. Lunch. There's Patrick Warburton. Right. right. Actress Toolbox. How old are you? Um, I, I, well, it's it's almost five p.m. But I, everyone's I'm jerky, here. isn't? Yeah. I, I don't I don't know if it's like. It's... The style of these character models are just hideous, though, aren't yeah. they? Like, all of them are... They're sort of alien and bug-eyed mm. and weirdly proportioned. There's, Strange shadows. There's nothing charming about it. It's just it's just kind of hideous. Yeah. I think he voiced Buzz Lightyear in Buzz Lightyear of Star Command as well. Really? I think he did, yeah. If not, it's that kind of voice actor. Perfect pair of wings. Um, thanks. There it is. I mm. think... Oh, I, I, I mean, you're hot in here. I, I mean, turning me on. They're all. I mean, turn, turn the, they keep the referring to it being more. something I mean, in here. But so far, every time they've said that, they've been outside. In here, yeah. Which doesn't make a great deal of sense. Mm. Can you go turn down the sun, please? Oh no, 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 no! Of course not. I'm sure it wouldn't taste like salty sugar daisies or. <laughs> what? I didn't hear what he said. No, but I, I assume it was sexual. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, we know. Peter. <laughs> Do you know what you're going to have to do now? Collect pages. Yes, you are. Go on. You're in the car again. <laughs> fifteen. There's fifteen of them, Peter. This is a com this was a complicated oh, pornography. That's a good start. Oh, I've Austin Powers did. It won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> come on, force it through. Give it some welly. Oh, 
God. We should also say that sex work is real work and porn stars and so on, everyone deserves the right to a safe profession. For and, sure. Uh, and so on and so forth. It's just this game is not casting anyone or anything in the best of lights. No. First, first one's there. See it directly ahead of you behind the crates? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> drop off. Okay. Got oh, one. and now there's a cutscene. Between every single one. Yeah. Uh, this is the second Larry game that was created entirely without any input from original Larry game designer and developer Al Lowe. Though the character Big Al is an homage to Lowe. Oh. Al Lowe later thanked Vivendi Games on his website for keeping him away from what he called the latest disaster. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure I streamed a Leisure Suit Larry game a few years ago, but it had just come out. Mm. But it was more of a point-and-click adventure game, which is... Oh. <laughs> I've done the world a favour there, let's face <laughs> yeah, it. Just taking him out of the gene pool. <laughs> uh, I believe they yeah, used to be sort of more point-and-clicky, so point and now they've kind of returned to that. Yeah. They're still quite sexual, but not in a... I don't remember it being too bad. Mm. Not like this, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, great job. What's that? What? Oh, right. Ran Randy man's... Swimwear. Swimwear. Turns gen turn gentlemen's heads. Mmm. What oh? Okay, there's no gap there. You're all good. Oh, oh hello camera. Okay, you've got one just behind you. Knob. <laughs> knob. Can we pose him next to the knob sign? Oh, we can't zoom it in, can we? <laughs> that was good, though. It was. Knob. Knob. Brilliant. That's it. We've completed the game. There aren't any PS3 speedruns for this game, Peter, but there is one on the Xbox 360. How fast did k Dog one finish this game? Um, one hour and 45 minutes. Three hours and 29 minutes, 48 seconds. Yeah, it's a long old boy, this one. Would you uh, like some reviews? Yes, please. Ledger Suit Larry Box Office Bust was met with highly unfavorable reviews. Oh. Okay. Uh, what percentage score did this get on Metacritic, on average, on PS3, please? Um, on average, 48%. Ooh, well, here's the thing, Peter. Yeah. It got 17%. 17 percent. 17 percent. 17, one, seven percent. average, yep. that seems perhaps even slightly too harsh, but I expect it to do more on average because um, some people will have played this and said, ha, ha, ha. This is a riot. Yeah. This is a, have you played this? The highest review score comes courtesy of, if I can rotate my fact box appropriately, uh, Spazio Games, which is an Italian site. Mm. And uh, I've translated this and it's actually translated a lot better than it would from French, from Jeu Video. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Considering the current standards offered by the market, Leisure Suit Larry box office is definitely far from an acceptable quality. And on balance, it would have been better to remember the famous brand for its glorious past rather than for this decidedly forgettable return. What review score did they give it? I think they gave it, um, this is the highest. Yeah. 35%. 40%, very close. Lowest review score comes from, it's a four-way tie. Oh. We've never had a four-way tie before. Uh, it comes from Gamer.nl, OPM UK, uh, OPM Australia, and Thunderbolt. 10% before you even tell me. You're correct. They're yeah, all 10%. 10. Uh, I'll give you the various, the various descriptions, the bylines. Ledger Suit Larry Box Office Bust is without a doubt one of the worst games in history. There isn't a single characteristic in the game that is worth spending your money on. With the buggy controls... <laughs> it's just fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! I think it's mine, but anyway. Go on, get in. See what happens. Oh, he's shuffled over. Oh, damn it. With the buggy controls, it's the king of crap. Under any circumstances, do not buy this game. Then we've got Burn This. It's the only way to be sure. At some point during the development, any wit and or charm the series had left was quietly escorted out of the building and shot. And in short, Box Office Bust has no redeeming qualities at all, and I would not wish this on my worst enemy. Wow. And that concludes this episode of Worst Games Ever. Uh, this is actually one of the worst games ever. That was based on 11 critical reviews. Yeah. Um, there were more critical reviews for the Xbox 360 version, but even that only managed 25%. Right. So it's not good anywhere.
Well, I'm pleased, actually, because, as I say, I thought some people would still give it, you know, 60% saying, mm. I laughed all the way through. It might have some technical limitations, but the jokes will keep you going oh, till oh, the oh. very end. I sure did love all the humour. It was so... Is that another suicide there? He did actually just fall That's in That's at least the second suicide. Look at that guy's big face. Mm. It's kind of Everyone upsetting. Smokes cigars. One final fact for you. Yes. In uh, the Wikipedia article, it said that this game had a much bigger budget than the other ones, and that some guy can't remember who citation needed James, who was brought in for one and a half a one and a half hour voiceover session, was paid thirty thousand dollars. That's basically that's theft embezzlement. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Bye!